Yeah, yeah it's, it's better. The orange is better. All right. P P PR, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, we're here with Martin Van Garderen. After a big 3 nothing win from the Netherlands, Van Garderen, you were on fire. 21 points, 50% efficiency. How important is it for you to step up and kind of take some of the load off Namir and, and have big games like this throughout this tournament? Yeah, obviously, we're we're very, very happy with the result, first of all. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Namir is such a big part of our success and of our our road to get uh, up in the world ranking and uh, to be able to compete in every tournament. Uh, but we have a lot of players who can step up. I'm happy my game is, uh, is quite good right now. We still have some guys uh, even that are coming back. Uh, Ter Horst, uh, Ter Maat, that are capable of doing a lot of things. Obviously Tuinstra and uh, great middles. You know, there, there are so many guys who are uh, believing in what we're doing and uh, everybody gets their chance. So. Uh, it's a good thing about our team, yeah. What was clicking today for you to make it uh, to make it happen? Because four blocks, two aces, yeah. big big efficiency offensively. Like you, you had a game. It was kind of like you had a stretch at Siena this year where you were averaging like 25 points a game. It was it was kind of like that. Yeah, well, uh, I wish I, I would have had a season like that. It wasn't quite, but um, we were just aggressive from the beginning. You know, we had a very very good win yesterday. Uh, we beat Cuba 3-0, but we were immediately like, okay. Tomorrow is going to be a very, very tough match. And uh, it's not like it's worth nothing the win of the day before, but we really wanted to come out and uh, play like yesterday and uh, and try and get the win. And that's why I think from the first point you could see that we were ready and we were, uh, you know, we just wanted to not dominate, but like show immediately that uh, Holland is uh, capable of a lot of things. Well, I mean, we know that after your runs for the past few years. Um, Talk to us about the serving clock and the buzzer with the serve yeah. clock, because you it seems like there's a lot of confusion with all of that, and there's there's been a lot of issues. So we're watching it just from the outside. What's it like for you guys, and and what's wh where's the confusion coming from? Uh, well, first of all, I think there's a lot of good things that are they're improving. I mean, they're constantly trying to evolve the game, but this is an aspect that is really like taking you a little bit out of your focus and a little bit out of your rhythm and routine. Because normally, I don't know, uh, I remember uh, I just had three attacks, you know, and uh, I made a point and then I'm making my way to the serve. You're trying to breathe and maybe get one or two seconds more. Not even a lot of time. But um, yeah, they, they threw the ball at me quite late and some, some clock is ticking already. And uh, yeah, it, it happened yesterday, it happened today. So it's quite frustrating because at the end it was a tight set and uh, um, it shouldn't be like that. But uh, I mean, uh, maybe it can uh, can help for the future and for the next matches or in the VNL that uh, stuff like this uh, won't happen again. Because you know, if I make a mistake and serve, that should be an error. But not if the t run time is running out. Is it just too fast? I don't know. I think there should be more clarity about when the the clock is ticking. I mean, I was waiting, and uh, somebody threw the ball, and I I did. I wasn't even in my starting position yet, and. Apparently the clock was already ticking, so um, I was there, you know, kind of taking my breath and co focusing on my ball, and I didn't even throw it yet. So, um, of course, if if they want to uh, speed up the game, that's fine, but uh, not to, you know, uh, interrupt with uh, with the game and with the routine of some players. Yeah. Now you guys have a day off tomorrow, and yeah. you finish up against Argentina on Sunday. Argentina's looked really, really good so far. We just talked to your coach, and he says that there's going to be a lot of work for them. What do what do you need to be better with, and what do what does the team need to be better with? Uh, looking forward to Argentina, where you wrap up this week one here in Ottawa. Um, I'm really ha happy about the the way we are starting the sets and starting matches. Um, but in the middle of the sets, we we have some some periods of down. I mean, like some uh, some series with sometimes even e easy serves or first rotation can can improve a little bit. So. Uh, uh, that was a big part in the second set as well because I thought we we had it under control quite a, and um, so yeah that's that's the thing we have to focus on to when we are in the game to not uh, let uh, some errors or some decisions or some controversy stuff um, you know uh, influence our game and uh, so that's the point we should focus on. Argentina is an amazing amazing team with a world class setter. And they're playing great, so uh, they will be aggressive uh, also to win against us because the last two uh, uh, matches uh, we had the better of them. So, 
All right, well, looking forward to a good one on Sunday. Yeah. Rest up tomorrow. Congratulations on the win today, and we'll see you on Sunday. Awesome. Thank you, Thank you a lot, Martin.